Hello, it's Don. Okay, it's time for some maintenance. Maintenance on the 30 horse Suzuki. Uh, we're gonna change our lower unit gear lube. It hasn't been done in a while, it's time. A lot of people tend to overlook this. I don't know why, it's real easy to do and it's just as important as any other feature on your motor, obviously. If that prop quits going around, you got a problem. And those are expensive repairs. Um, let's just get right after it. We don't need to make this a big fancy video. We'll just, we'll just show you how to do it. Uh, 30 horse Suzuki. On this 30 horse, they've got Phillips screws. There's your high fill level. Here's your drain down here at the bottom. And I've got the motor tilted up on an angle because you want this to be your lowest point when you're draining. Now, one thing that's real important, I can't stress it. This is a number three Phillips on this Suzuki. You make sure you've got a screwdriver that fits that perfect, perfect. Because if you bugger up them, uh, them threads for the screw, the, uh, the slots in there, you're, you're not gonna be happy. It's not easy to get them out. And I've seen several in my time over the years. So anyways, let's just go ahead and do this. This is easy, this won't take long. and. Uh, you know, you might want to do it yourself afterwards. Just say, well, that wasn't bad. All right, let's set you up because I'm going to need both hands for this. Oh. That ought to be about right. All right, so here's my number three Phillips. I got a catch pin underneath it with a piece of cardboard underneath that. It never fails, you always make a mess. All right, here we go. And you see that's just barely coming out because we haven't taken our top screw out yet. But I'm gonna let that come out slow for a minute. I wanna look at that. And it's just, it's just normal looking oil. What you're looking for is to make sure there's no milkiness to it. I'll look at the wind blowing out here. If it's milky looking, you know you've got water in your lower unit and that's bad. Then you gotta go get it serviced. All right, but we don't. That's just dirty oil. Just needs to be changed. It's just time. Okay, so now I've got my top plug out. Now you can see we've broke the suction. It's draining good. And this little 30 horse, it doesn't hold much. But you can see how dark that was. It was time. Yeah, it was time. And there's my top plug right there. So once I took that out, it breaks the suction. Out it goes. All right. We're gonna let that finish draining for a couple minutes and I'm gonna get the, the pump hooked up. We'll show you how we fill it back up and uh, how not to overfill it. That's an important step. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, we've got it all drained out. Uh, I got a little adapter fitting on here. Uh, they're real inexpensive. I, I got the whole kit off Amazon. It, it comes with three or four different sizes, whether you got a Suzuki, Yamaha, Mercury. It fits all the popular brands. And it's not expensive. I can't remember what I paid for it. I think it was less than $10. Uh, so you see, I got that screwed on there already. And on the Suzuki, it did the, it's a little big. It didn't fit right up in there tight, but it's big enough. It's gonna fit in there and it's not gonna leak. You can see the oil come out of it. I still got my top plug out. We gotta leave that one out. All right, second thing we got, we got a cheapo little, little oil pump here. And uh, you get these at the auto parts store. They're cheap, you know, they're $10, $15 at the most. Uh, and for this job, they really come in handy. They're a fantastic thing to have. Uh, Suzuki's a 90 weight gear lube is what they recommend. So you don't have to have their lube. You know, any good quality 90 weight gear lube is fine. Um, but for now, we have to tilt the motor back down. You want to get it all the way down. Level, more or less. And I'm going to follow that with my tub so I don't get oil all over the place. And I turn the motor this way some so we can see it. There we go, that's pretty level. All right, so now I'm gonna set this down. My hands are gonna start getting oily. And I want you to be able to see what we're doing here. So there's our, our drain, and we're gonna fill it from the drain. And we're gonna leave the top plug out right here. And we're gonna fill it till the level comes up just to that top plug. And we're gonna stop, you don't wanna overfill it. There needs to be air in there for expansion. This does get, you know, it warms up when you're running. So this is real easy. We're just gonna take our, our pump right here. We're gonna stick the hose on the bottom. And this doesn't happen fast because it's such a cheapy little pump. Whatever, it gets the job done, right? Okay. So we're gonna start pumping that. It's going in there. 
So now we're just going to keep going until it fills up to the top. And this little motor, it doesn't hold much. I don't remember the exact amount. I'd be surprised if it holds half a quart. Pumping it full. We're just watching that top hole until the oil comes up to that top hole. Oh. <laughs> it's full. Did you see it shoot out of there? All right. So now we're going to put our screw back in the top. Make sure your gasket's in place. Let's let that run out just a little bit, let's see. Oh yeah, there it is, okay. Okay, we got that one in there secure and tight. Always keep a rag handy when you're doing this job. Now we can take this hose off. And that's okay if it drips a little bit. You don't want it over full. It's better to have a teaspoon out of there. And you see I got this off, it's just barely coming out. That's okay, it's only a thimble full. We're gonna put our bottom screw in with the gasket. Make sure that's good and tight. Proper size screwdriver. Wait for, for a little bit of mess here. And that's it. That's it. We're done. We just changed our gear a little bit. I mean, realistically, five minute job. It might take me longer because I'm running the camera. Um, so if you haven't do it, get it done. You don't have to go to the marina to get this done. Uh, it's real easy. Like I said, just the Suzuki's call for 90 weight. So get yourself a 90 weight gear lube. If you want to get the Suzuki brand, that's fine. It's, it's less than a quart. It's not going to run you broke. Uh, keep up on this maintenance. You know, you don't want to be broke down out in the middle of the bay somewhere. Okay, we've gone through two hurricanes. We're uh, waiting for the weather to get a little nicer. We're gonna get back in there and do some fishing. Hope this helped. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me.